Could you tell me, is the God of Allah you serve and the God I serve, is it the same God? You see, in principle, we all believe in the same God. But you have a certain concept of God Almighty if you are a Christian. Are you a Christian? Yeah. And you are a Trinitarian? Huh? Are you a Trinitarian? Yes, Father, right. Son, and Holy Ghost. Right. You see now, that is your concept uh -huh. of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, which we say is not the teaching of Christ. Uh -huh. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, you see in the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter uh -huh. 12, verse 29, a learned man of the Jew comes to him and says, Master, what commandment is the first of all? Uh -huh. And Jesus answers and says unto him, not for there are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. No, no. He said the first is, in the Hebrew language, Shama Israelu Adonai Elohainu Adonai Echad, which means here O Israel, the Lord, our God, the Lord is one. Uh -huh. This is the first commandment as given by Jesus Christ. See, the first is, that Lord God is the one and only God. No man can see God and live. God is not seen at any time. God is spirit, and those that worship him must worship him in truth and in spirit, not in form, not in shape, not in size. Mm. This verse about the Trinity, for there are three that bear witness in heaven, the uh -huh. Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one, is in that Bible that that brother is oh. carrying. But in all the modern translation, including the RSV, the Revised Standard Version of the Bible. I wonder if you heard about the Revised Standard Version of the sure. Bible, which is the most up-to-date Bible in the world today. Uh -huh. This was brought about by 32 scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 cooperating denominations. And they have, as a whole, thrown it out, expunged it from the Bible. Would you like to have a look at it? It's not there. This verse on the Trinity is thrown out as a fabrication, as an interpolation. You know who did it? Not Jews, not Hindus, not Muslims, but Christian scholars of the highest eminence. So now you are creating a religion of a fabrication. This verse on the Trinity is a fabrication. Jesus Christ didn't teach you that the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are co-equal and co-eternal. This is the teaching of your church. No, sir. Where does Jesus say, I and my Father, we are both equal? Does he say any such things? Does he say that he is God? Nowhere. There is not a single unequivocal statement in the whole encyclopedia called the Bible. Not a single, I, I hope you understand my English. Sure. Unequivocal means simple, straightforward, mm. to say, I am God, or he says, worship me. If you can find such a statement, and you have a whole week while I'm around, you just bring that over at any of my meetings, from your Bible, where Jesus says, I'm God, or where he says, worship me, and in front of all the people, I will be prepared to accept him as God, and I will be prepared to worship him. Uh, right? I but I'm you giving you an opportunity after uh, next Tuesday night. In your Bible, any Bible, whether it is uh, uh, the Roman Catholic version, or the King James version, or the Revised version, or the Revised Standard version, or the American Standard, or the Jehovah's Witness version, any Bible that you can name, bring it to me in any meeting and in front of everybody, I will follow and join your church. How's that? Sure, I would agree with you. Right. So I'm giving you opportunity the uh, next Tuesday night. Sorry, brother. Uh, right, Abdul thank Ahmad you. Our uh, time is running out according to the people of the hall. And I saw somebody coming up to the microphone with a striped jersey. Please come forward. Um, the, uh, all it, uh, this would be the last question. And could you be brief, please? OK, good evening, everybody. You said that uh, the, that is the Revised Standard Bible, right? So you said that uh, the Revised Standard Bible has been taken out of the, the Trinity, right? The Trinity has been taken out there, right? So what Christians took that question out, uh, throw that uh, portion of the Bible, of the Trinity, what Christian did it? They were the Trinitarian Christians. People themselves were Trinitarians. In Mudaport, Mudaport in the Free State, there was a church synod. And in that church synod, they're asking themselves the question, how many of them that preach Trinity in the church, they believe in the Trinity? Those who preach it. And 85% of the people that were there who preached Trinity, they said they didn't believe in the Trinity. This is how good it is. 
So it has no biblical basis. Your Trinity is not there. Jesus is not God. He never claimed to be God. Nowhere did he say, I'm God. Nowhere did he say, worship me. So this is a creation of the church. You see? And your scholars, and if you read here the testimonies about this Bible, this Bible here, what church do you belong to, my son? Your church might be also one of the members who were responsible for this. What church do you belong to? Me. You. No church. Yes, you. What church? Jesus. Are you a Roman Catholic? Jesus, no. What? What church do you belong to? Say the name of the denomination. Why are you ashamed of your church? Why don't you say what church you belong to? It's not the church that matters, sir. Right, listen. Church of England newspaper. Church of England, that's the Anglican. They say the finest version which has been produced in the present century, this Bible, finest version. Times Literary Supplement says, a completely fresh translation by scholars of the highest eminence. Language which is not only dignified but also contemporary. Fullest use of resources of modern scholarship. Life and Work says, the well-loved characteristics of the authorized version combined with a new accuracy of translation. And the time says the most accurate and close rendering of the original. This one. Most accurate and close rendering of the original. And they found it fit to throw out the Trinity. They found fit to throw out the word begotten in John 3.16, that this was also another interpolation. They saw fit to throw out the ascension, which is also, according to them, an interpolation. Now, if you like, at the end of the meeting, you can have a look at this Bible, and then you can question me at the next meeting if I'm wrong. Just hang on, excuse me. Uh, you see that, Sorry? Uh, uh, just, no, I, just, I want to state that point that you just said now. Right. You see that uh, the, the, uh, the Trinity has been thrown out of that Bible, right? Correct. So I asked you a question, what Christians did that? And you couldn't give me an answer. 30, 50 cooperating no, denominations no, of Christians. who are they? They were Baptists, they were Anglicans, they were perhaps Roman Catholics. Fifty-two denominations went to do that but, job. But that's not, that is not the, 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 the answer that I asked you. Then the answer is, you didn't tell me what church you belong to. Maybe your church was also involved there. No. <laughs> Sorry, that was the last question. And I would like to take this opportunity to say many, many thanks for your attendance tonight and for your participation, one and all, of those who did. Please roll up at the other lectures if you would like some enlightenment further. Thank you. Qur'ans are available. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good night, ladies and gentlemen.